Prince. Okay, so today at Jingmu we are working on the Mogui palms. We're working on the dragon palms, and specifically we are working on uh, the movement from number four, the Aozong, gather and chase into the Taozong. And what we're just sort of playing with is understanding how it's an, um, a blend, absorb, neutralize, redirect to create space for that chase. So, Mike punches, right? And here we train, right? This is why we train the whole movement where we step, where we reach up for the Liao Zone and then down and close. So doing that at speed, not, not at speed, but a little faster. So this whole concept of blending, right? So here we spiral. We spiral up and we sit and root at the same time, stepping to begin to enter the structure of your opponent, right? Okay. So again, doing this slow to be careful to understand the feeling Right? So here, stepping, right? And here my hips are turned that way, right? Straight out that way. So when I sit and turn and close, right? Now I'm creating the space here, right? Bringing, bringing the second arm in that was here hooked. We gather, we close, we track, and we step through. Now that's close in, if I was out here, I would just step through and behind. Okay. So again, the situational variations are important to understand. Um, ideally, because when in, in an altercation, a situation where you're up and you block or you engage with the outside hand instead of this, the way we're kind of practicing in class, because the movement, the movement is the engaging, and here's the rear hooking hand, right? Here's the rear hooking hand, and here I've got the wrist, so when I step in, I'm not going to actually do this, but you'd step through, break the leg, and then drive your opponent, drive the person straight down the ground. So understanding the engagement, even if you do this type of catch, and then stepping in, okay? So we practice this to understand how to reach, how to engage, spiral, twist, coil, wrap, sitting, right? So here you'd be kicking through and altering the root of your opponent while you step through. So just, just hold your arm out. So the whole point is to have this type of movement, this type of coiling, wrapping movement, because if the initial contact, the person is strong, right, we're spiraling, we're turning, I'm turning my body, turning my body, and then dropping and closing to affect change in my structure, right? So here, the close, and we train, again, we train for this big sweeping motion. The mechanics and engaging and closing and then turning forward, right? And again, the question in class was brought up is what happens if you cannot go underneath? And that's a really good question because sometimes you cannot brace underneath and they're really fast and the second punch comes up, which is why you have the chase and the step through into their structure, right? So with threading, so here with the Alzong, with the Alzong, you learn how to thread and go underneath, right? You can thread, hook, and go underneath. And you learn how to move side to side with that and chase and expand into your structure that way. So understanding from the natural um, oh shit space, like, oh my god, you know, your fence or whatever you want to call it, and then trapping, right? The trapping of the bones as you, you know, how does that feel like? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> right? So here, here, I'm doing the movement, right? I'm doing the movement nice and slow. Even though I got his arm pinned, I'm not grabbing it. 
I'm going to reach down the Galazon and right through the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <clears throat>